Second number seven, Travis Warren picks it off. You guys kind of knew. We knew that it was going to come down to the last game of the year. We knew that, and we knew if we go seven and three, man, we're going to flip that record and we're in the playoffs. I just talked to the coach. I know him pretty well. He says if you guys play like you did tonight, you'll get something about two or three touchdowns. He says you guys are a good football team. And you. We put a little pressure on them, right? We put a little pressure on them, uh, Mighty Helmet. But I'm proud of you. You guys fought. For how injured we were on Monday, Coach. Oh, my God. For how injured we were with four or five guys not even practicing. Come out and put that effort out. Man, you guys got You guys got great. You really did. Now, let's fight. Next week, let's fight for each other. It's all there. It's right there. Freaking there. Everything is right there for us. We got 48 minutes. We can do it. I'm not gonna lie. And we're gonna go down there and our ears back and we are gonna go. And we're gonna go like answers. Right? Yeah. Be proud of your guys or they stuck it out in battle. Um, gave Placer a heck of a run there. Oh absolutely. We miss you know, give them credit. They held us on the one foot line. But we I'm very proud that we didn't let them get that score they were trying to get at the end of the game there. Really really proud of our team for getting a stop down there. The effort's outstanding and you know, we just gotta give it sudden death next week. Winter goes on. Scott's coach. I, I just feel like we're playing really good football now. We're just coming up a little short, but we're playing good teams, and you know our kids are battling. You know, this, to me, that, this is the epitome of a Bruin football team. We're just kids scrapping sometimes, sometimes outmanned a little bit, but. Uh, Tonight, I felt like our kids gave us 48 minutes. I like came up a little short, but it wasn't because of the effort. Kids played. You're down there, still down by one possession there in late in the second half after the field goal. I mean, two field goals tonight, 31, 32 yards. Kept you guys within reach. Just one big play. You couldn't right turn. there, we score. It's a one score game. You never know what's going to happen, but it didn't happen. <laughs> we, don't, we don't get stopped very often inside the one yard line. It just doesn't happen very often. So hats off to them. They did. They did. They held their. They held their water down there. And uh, you know, like Coach said, you, you score there. You got to dial up a two-point play, and you got a chance. You got a chance to to take a shot at them at the end, and just well, it didn't happen. Right, and looking ahead to next week at center. Um, obviously, a must-win to, to make the, play, the playoffs. I'm not sure if they won versus Colfax tonight yet, but well, it doesn't it matter like, either way. We if we don't win, we don't go. We win, we go. It sounds to me like it's going to be, you know, they're going to be the same scenario we are. I mean, they are ahead right now, though. But yeah, but it doesn't matter. It it, it it really doesn't matter. I mean, they they, you know, for for playoffs, seating, whatever, they're both they're going to be motivated next week, and you know, it's at their place. They always play real well there, so. Rhodes gonna have to bring it next week. Absolutely. All right, thank you guys.